Hi, in this video I will show you how to get rid of those ugly holes called pockmarks that sometimes occur on the surface of our lovely 3D prints. This video is completely based on my experience. I have tried few methods to solve this problem and I finally did so. It costed me a dozen of failed prints, so I'm sharing what I've learned to save you some time and filament. Alright, so what needs to be said is that pockmarks may have few different causes. The most common one that pops up when you try to google it is a moisture of filament. Simply, if your filament has been exposed for moisture or the package was not properly sealed, the filament spool may be damaged and the pockmarks appear on your final prints. I was convinced that it was my case. Every other material I ever used worked completely fine with the similar settings, so it was reasonable to think that the purple filament I was using here caught moisture at some point. The interesting part was that the amount of pockmarks was increasing as I kept the filament on my desk for days and weeks, so there was another reason to think, hey, it probably just got wet. So if something similar happens to you, if one of your filaments suddenly ends up producing a set of little holes, watch this video till the end before you order a new spool, it may save you some money. I ordered another kilogram of exactly same filament, which is Polyterra Lavender 1.75 mm. And to my absolute surprise, the number of pockmarks even increased. I checked the box and it didn't have any damages, so the possibility of moisture being the issue decreased to almost zero. I started tweaking the settings, increasing and decreasing the temperature, changing printing speed and so on, and after 7th try, I got the answer. What allowed me to fix my problem completely was the retraction settings. In the great video from Chuck Hellebuck you can learn about retraction and how you can benefit from it. And to be honest it always worked great for me with any other filament. However in this particular case the retraction distance was actually ruining my print. I tried turning it off, but I do not recommend this as it may produce some errors of other nature. Yikes. Instead, I used the retraction distance of 2 mm in comparison to a regular 6 mm and, well, look for yourself. This is one of the best prints I ever produced, the surface is just impeccable. And this was crucial for this project as I am selling those parts for the customers. Turns out, some filaments can't handle a typical retraction distance, the material is being poured too late and the gaps appear on the surface. In conclusion, some filaments may need a special setting sets. Even if other materials work completely fine on the same retraction distance, if you are experiencing holes and pockmarks in your prints, try to play around with the setting, give it a lower value, before ordering a new spool instead of using a completely functional one, like I did. Let me know if this solution helped you and if so, consider hitting the like button. Cheers and see you next time.